Hey Cheeseheads, welcome to another edition of Southern Utah Thunderbirds Dynasty here on the Moldy Cheese College Football Network. Today is a huge game. Game number eight of year number six. We take on the Texas Tech Red Raiders, a Conference USA matchup against the former Big 12 team that was relegated uh, two years ago to Conference USA. We come in at three and four, two and one in conference. Our two conference wins against New Mexico State and Louisiana Tech, two of the uh, worst teams in Conference USA so far this season, and then a loss to Weber State. So Texas Tech comes in at 6-2. and two. They sit atop the Western Division of Conference USA at 3-1 and one in conference. And uh, let's look at the program comparison quickly. Texas Tech comes in riding a two-game winning streak. We have won one in a row. We are 27-41 overall since we began this dynasty six seasons ago. Texas Tech... 577 program wins, 14 bowl wins, 24 losses, and one tie. They are averaging an attendance of 33,840. Uh, quite a disparity between our average of 10,920, which is actually one of the better attendances in the Western Division of Conference USA. So we get ready for Texas Tech and Southern Utah. Quick look at Texas Tech's schedule here in year six. See how they got to where they are. An overtime win against Houston Baptist. To start the season, they eked one out against that FCS team. They lost to Fresno State, beat Indiana, beat South Alabama, and then conference play started for them. They beat Southern Miss in overtime. They lost to Marshall. They beat UTSA, and they beat North Texas. So that is where they stand at 3-1 and one in Conference USA play. Let's look at some uh, individual statistical leaders for the Texas Tech Red Raiders. Eric Martin, their quarterback, 1,878 yards, 17 touchdowns, and 9 picks. Uh, Hardy averages 106 yards per game on the ground, and Hargrove averages 102.5 yards through the air. Last week, he had eight catches for 96 yards. Uh, Monroe has three interceptions. Matthews has three sacks, and Jackson is their leading tackler at 24. That's the Red Raiders. Let's switch over here and look at Southern Utah. Our individual leaders, led by true freshman quarterback Freddie Campbell, with 520 yards passing, two touchdowns, six interceptions. He is the backup quarterback now, benched in favor of Dante Summers, who will play and start the game today. Corey Cook averaging just under 100 yards per game rushing. Gary Peterson, our leading receiver at 31.4, coming off of a poor three-catch, 16-yard performance last week against New Mexico State. Manuel Poole leads with 50 tackles. Dallas Dean has two interceptions. And Brooks Thompson, no sacks again last week against New Mexico State. He has 10 on the season through seven games. And you are looking live on a Saturday afternoon. It's a little bit cloudy here today in southern Utah. We are at Eccles Coliseum, probably the biggest name team that has visited Cedar City in this dynasty. It's a former Power 5 team in Texas Tech, uh, now relegated to Conference USA. We are underway here from Eccles Coliseum. Texas Tech gets the ball first, second down and 11. Eric Martin hands to Robert Hardy. And Hardy has stood up in the backfield for no gain. It'll be third down and 11. Screen pass right side. This is Hardy out of the backfield. And a great play by Soul to jump over a blocker and force Hardy out of bounds. It'll be a quick three and out for the Thunderbirds to start the game. And hopefully that's a good omen. That does not happen often in this dynasty where we kick off and then get a three and out. Here's Gary Peterson on the punt return out across the 40 to the 45. Across midfield into the Texas Tech 45-yard line. Great. Starting field position for Dante Summers in the offense. Here's the give to Corey Cook, left side. And Cook picks up a yard. Second down and nine for the T-Birds. Dante Summers 
Over the middle to Andy Manning, and Manning picks up 19 down inside the 25 to the 23 yard line. New set of downs for the T-Birds. Corey Cook right side. Picks up four, second down and six. Dante Summers, by far the most efficient quarterback that we have. He has not been spectacular. He has lost some games. Hasn't always guided us to wins, but he is the most efficient, so we're riding with him. First down and 10, give left side. Corey Cook is down inside the 10. Second down and seven, play action. Summers flushed out to the right. Summers is just going to throw this one out of bounds. Live to fight another day. Third down and seven for the T-Birds. Summers from the shotgun, no running backs in the backfield. Summers is going to pull it down and run on third down and seven, and he is stopped in the backfield for a loss, and that'll force the Thunderbirds into a field goal and three points to open up the scoring here in Cedar City. It's three to nothing, Southern Utah, 545 to go in the first, and Texas Tech will have their second possession of the game. This is Manning out across the 25 to the 28, maybe the 29-yard line. That's where Eric Martin and the Red Raiders will start. Here's the give to Robert Hardy on the counter. And Hardy picks up six. Second down and four. Martin from the shotgun. Martin throws right side. Wide open is leading receiver Kevin Hargrove, who picks up 13. And a new set of downs. Martin throwing deep down the left side. He's got a man, and it's Marcus Leach. A 45-yard catch for Leach down inside the 10. Read option. Martin keeps it. And Macklin comes up to make the stop. It'll be second and goal. Martin left side. Caught. Touchdown, Texas Tech. Marcus Leach. So the Red Raiders go three and out on their first possession. The second one they strike quickly. And it's seven to three just past the midway point of the first quarter. Here's Manuel Poole on the return. And he gets out to the 25. It'll be first down and 10 for the Thunderbirds. Summers from the shotgun, give to Cook on the right side. Southern Utah going to try to play some ball possession and keep the ball out of Texas Tech's high-powered offense, or keep the ball away from Texas Tech's high-powered offense. Third down and two. Rhodes in motion from the right side. That's Aaron Rhodes across the formation. Two running backs in the backfield, one behind the other. Here's the give to Cook. And Cook is going to have the first down on the left side, a pickup of four. And now we have a... Fault start on Southern Utah will back us up first and 15. Over the middle, this is Rhodes. Aaron Rhodes across midfield with a 45. Nice pickup at 24. Left side. Summers gets it out quickly to Rhodes. And Rhodes is down to the 25-yard line. A great block out here by the left guard. I think that's Upshaw. Number 63 right there. He puts a guy on his back, and that springs Aaron Rhodes for about 12 to 15 yards, something like that. First down and 10 for Southern Utah. We're driving quickly out of the backfield to Cook, and Cook's going to pick up a handful of yards. It'll be second down and seven for the Thunderbirds. Here comes the option. Summers will pitch it, and it'll be a short gain of two. Third down and five. Big play for the T-Birds. Summers. Summers hanging in the pocket. Summers gets rid of it. Caught by Cook out across the 20, but it's going to be well short of the first down, it'll be fourth down and four, and Calvin Jackson into attempt to field goal. This one will be from about 35 yards, and he hits it. It is seven to six with 47 seconds to go in the first quarter. Texas Tech holding a one-point lead. 47 seconds to go in the first. Here's the give to Robert Hardy on the right side. Hardy's going to pick up a good eight or nine yards. Bring up second down and short. Hardy pulled down in the backfield for a loss of four. Third down and five, big play, and it's tipped at the line of scrimmage, nearly caught but dropped. And it'll be another three and out for the Southern Utah defense. This should be the final play of the first quarter. The punt will be fielded by Gary Peterson. He calls for a fair catch. And at the end of one quarter in Cedar City, it's just a one-point game. The longer Southern Utah can stay in it, the better our chances will be to pull off what has to be considered an upset. Over the middle, Smith makes the catch. This is freshman Gary Smith, a 17-yard gain. First down to 10. Summers is slinging it pretty well early. Here's the give to Brian Rogers. And Rogers into the line of scrimmage goes nowhere. Second down and 10. Here's the give to Corey Cook, left side. Cook picks up four, third down and six. Summers from the pocket, out to Peterson. Peterson turns up field, and he has a first down. For Southern Utah, third downs will be huge in this game. They always are both offensively and defensively. Move the sticks, keep our offense on the field, and stop them and get their offense off the field. 
could be the deciding factor in the game. Andy Manning picks up seven and another first down for Southern Utah. Read option, Summers keeps it. And Summers into the line of scrimmage for a short game. Second down and eight. Corey Cook in motion out of the backfield. Brian Rogers, the lone setback. He'll take the handoff off the left side. Pick up two yards. Third down and five for the T-Birds. Summers from the shotgun, setting up a screen. Right side. Cook to the 20. And he's going to fall forward enough for the first down. Five and a half minutes to go in the second quarter. Brian Rogers, right side. Southern Utah chewing up clock. A long drive here. Let's hope it ends in seven. Here's the end around to Adams, the jet sweep. It'll be first down and goal from the two. Summers to Dunn. And John Dunn, the freshman fullback in the jumbo package, scores the touchdown. Southern Utah goes up 13 to seven with four and a half minutes to go in the second. Calvin Jackson to kick off. Southern Utah hanging on to a six point lead. Finally, they punch it in. They've had two drives stall and end in field goals. This time, they finish the drive and take the lead. Robert Hardy left side. Picks up a first down. Hardy again cuts back to the middle. Picks up six. It'll be second down and four for the Red Raiders. Eric Martin under center. Right side, this is Hardy. And Hardy's going to be stopped short of the first down marker. It'll be third down and two for the Red Raiders. Martin, read option. And he is going to be stopped in the backfield by a blitzing safety, Manuel Poole. So a nice run blitz. Nice play call by Southern Utah. It's fourth down and six. And Texas Tech will punt it away. Gary Peterson fills the kick out to the 25, maybe the 26-yard line. And that's where Southern Utah will start. Three and a half minutes to go in the first half, holding a 13-7 advantage. Corey Cook left side is going to be near the first down marker, just short, third and inches. Give is to the big fullback in the jumbo package again, and John Dunn falls forward for a first down. New set of downs, we're under two minutes to go. Cook picks up a cool five yards for the offense. It'll be second and five for the T-Birds. Summers from the shotgun. Here's the give to Cook on the right side. Cook's going to have the first down, get into the secondary, and down to the 41-yard line. Corey Cook in the running game is doing pretty well for Southern Utah. Good sign. That's something we just could not get the running game going a couple weeks ago against Weber State, and that spelled doom for our entire offense. Third down and 10, Summers, read option. He's going to keep it on a third down play, a gutsy play call. It'll be fourth down and three, and Southern Utah's going for it with 17 seconds. Cook out of the backfield, vacate or uh, gets the area where two linebackers vacated on a blitz, and he picks up the first down. We got 10 seconds to go in the first. Play action, Summers throws over the middle, catch made by Rhodes, and Southern Utah will use their final timeout. It looks like they're going to take one shot at the end zone. And Summers finds Gary Peterson for the score. Gary Peterson with the touchdown. And Southern Utah is going to take a 20-7 lead into the halftime break. And the Thunderbirds are going to get the ball to start the second half. A score there would be a huge swing of momentum for the Thunderbirds and put Texas Tech in a very tough situation. Look at the stats. Dominated by Southern Utah. 16-plus minutes of time of possession to uh, almost four for Texas Tech. Here's Manuel Poole opening kickoff of the second half. Right side gets some blocks, jumps over a defender. He's at the 40, the 50. He's down the sideline to the 35, to the 25, 20, 10, 5, touchdown Southern Utah. Manuel Poole goes 94 yards. What is happening here? Southern Utah is up 27 to 7 over the highly favored Texas Tech Red Raiders with 9.49 to go in the third. Texas Tech has the ball now. First down and 10, Robert Hardy right side, tackled by Little. Second down and 10, Martin from the shotgun, throws right side, this is Holt. Holt's gonna have enough for the first down, and King comes up and pushes him out of bounds. Uh, first down and 10, Hardy over the middle. And the halfback out of the backfield gets a first down for the Red Raiders. Here's Hardy left side. He is stood up in the backfield by a pair of Thunderbirds. Second down and 12 for Texas Tech. Right side, Jackson. Jackson down to the 35. Down to the 33. 15-yard pickup for Robert Jackson. And another first down for Texas Tech. Moving the ball. Play action. Eric Martin goes deep. Corner touchdown. Marcus Leach. 33 yards on the touchdown pass. He has a foot down. And that one's going to count. 27 to 14. The score here in the third quarter. This one is far from over. 
Still tons of time left way early in the third quarter. Southern Utah hanging on to a 13-point lead. Can they make it hold up? Here's Manuel Poole. Poole's going to spin to the outside and take him down at about the 22. First down and 10, Southern Utah. Give to Corey Cook. He's pulled down after a loss of two. Second and 12 for the T-Birds. Summers from the shotgun. Summers stepping up, throwing left side pass. Nearly picked off, and that would have been six. If Bobby Green could have held on to that ball, it would be a six-point game. But he drops it. Second down, or third down and 12. Cook out of the backfield is stop, and Southern Utah is going to have to punt it away. This is the first punt of the entire game for Southern Utah coming in the third quarter. 27 to 14, T Birds. Eric Martin with one running back behind him. Read option. Martin's going to keep it. And that play, slow developing, picks up five yards. Second down and five. Martin drops back. Over the middle finds Marcus Leach. He's been their best receiver today. Hargrove made a catch early in the first quarter and then has gone silent. And Scott Myers is going to pick one off. Myers to the 20. He's to the 15 and he's going to go all the way. Scott Myers with the pick six. And it is 34 to 14 in favor of the Thunderbirds. What is going on here in Cedar City? An insane game here by Southern Utah. Here's DeLuca coming up to make the hit on Hardy. Hardy picks up three on the play, second and three. Read option, Hardy left side. He's going to be short of the first down marker, third down and one. Big play for the SMU defense. Can we get him off the field? This is Martin. No, he's going to pick up the first down on the read option. Read option again, Martin keeps it. Texas Tech, not as pass happy as you might think they would be. They have been... Sticking with the run, third down and four, five-yard pickup for Holt, third and four. Martin's going to keep it, and he's going to be stopped in the backfield before he could get a pitch off. Fourth down and eight. Texas Tech will have to punt it away. Midway through the third, it's a 20-point lead for the Thunderbirds. Gary Peterson out across the 35, turns the corner, and is pulled down at the 31. First down and 10, quickly. Out to the right side on a bubble screen to Andy Manning, and he picks up a first down for the Thunderbirds. It's like every play call the Thunderbirds are making is turning to gold offensively. Second down and four. Summers under center, give to the right side to Cook, and Cook is pulled down after a short gain. It'll be third down and two for Southern Utah, and the give is to John Dunn, the fullback, and he falls forward for a first down. Three minutes to go in the third quarter, 34-14. to 14. Play action, Summers stepping up. Throwing deep down the left side. He's got a man wide open. It's Gary Peterson, the pass a little bit behind him. But he's able to haul it in for six. And the play action shot down the left sideline produces points for Southern Utah and another fantastic play call. The first play action shot we've taken in the game after... Dinkin and Duncan are way down the field. Comes up with a huge score. And it is 41 to 14 and Southern Utah is running away with this game. And momentum is hugely in favor of the Southern Utah Thunderbirds right now. Third down and 16 for Texas Tech. Screen pass to Hardy and Hardy is not going to get the first down. It'll be fourth and 18. And no choice for Texas Tech but to punt this one away late in the third quarter. Gary Peterson's back to fill it. He'll fill it at the 30. He's out across the 35 and up to the 41-yard line. It'll be first and 10 for Dante Summers and the all-of-a-sudden juggernaut offense. Thunderbirds, right side, Corey Cook picks up six. Second and four for the T-Birds. Here's the give to Cook on the left side. Cook makes a guy miss. He's across midfield, breaks a tackle down to the 38. A 15-yard pickup for Corey Cook. We are less than a minute to go in the third. Summers is going to keep it on the quarterback draw, and he's going to pick up six. Second down and four. Summers, play action. Summers rolls out to the right side, and he's going to pull it down and scamper out of bounds after a first down. That'll bring us to the end of the third. Here in Cedar City, the Thunderbirds with a 41-14 lead over the Red Raiders. We go to the fourth quarter, Southern Utah threatening to score again. Here's the give to Aaron Rhodes on a jet sweep. He's going to pick up 10. It'll be second and short for the T-Birds offense. Corey Cook in the backfield with Summers. Summers, lots of time over the middle, finds Adams. 
And the Texas Tech defense is on their heels. I don't think they're getting to Cook or to Summers at all, pressure-wise. And here's Cook, left side is going to pick up a first down, no, pick up about five. It'll be second down and goal. Summers, play action, rolls out. Over the middle, touchdown, Gary Peterson. That is Gary Peterson's third touchdown of the day. And Southern Utah is putting the clamps down, blowing Texas Tech out 48-14. to And here comes the Red Raiders. Eight minutes to go in the fourth. 34-point lead for Southern Utah, and another pick! This is King, and King's going to take it to the house. 15-10! Touchdown, Thunderbirds! Oh, but it's coming back. On the return, there was a clip, and so that one's coming back to the 45, but it'll be Thunderbirds football with 7.56 to go and a 48-14 lead. Here's Summers from the shotgun. Summers, left side, and pass is broken up. Third down and seven. Give to Cook on third down. He's going to get up near a first down. Fourth down and two. Thunderbirds look to go for it, and then they call a timeout. And they will think better of it and just try to bury Texas Tech back. The punt goes into and out of the back of the end zone, though. And it's a first down and 10 from the 20 for Texas Tech. Eric Martin, 200 yards through the air. Kind of a surprising number. It hasn't felt like that. Third down and 10 now for Texas Tech. Martin. Martin under pressure. Gets it out to Hardy. And Hardy's going to be pushed out of bounds short of the first down. Fourth down and two. And Texas Tech maybe has waved the white flag here as they punt it away instead of going for it on fourth and short. Peterson with a short return. 6.09 to go. Summers under center. Southern Utah leading big here in the fourth quarter of a crucial Conference USA West Division game. A win here and some things go right in other conference matchups and we could find ourselves all alone in first place in the division. Here's Summers, fakes the screen, throws left side. Ollie Hicks makes the catch for 23 yards and a new set of downs for the T-Birds. Summers over the middle to Manny. We are down to 4.45 to go and I think it's pretty safe to say that this one is in the old refrigerator. 48 to 14. Left side, first down for Corey Cook. Four minutes to go. Summers, screen pass to Peterson. Peterson tries to hurdle the defender, drops the football, and it's recovered by Miles. First turnover of the game for Southern Utah. And, I mean, that's that, those are the two things that we can point to. We have had no turnovers, and we have taken no sacks. And Dante Summers has had time to throw the football. And the, those are the big, differ the big differences so far offensively for the T-Birds. Third down, and uh, we've also been able to establish a running game. It also helps that our defense is getting Texas Tech off the field on third downs. So all those things together, and we have ourselves a 48 to 14 Southern Utah lead with 3.30 to go in the fourth. Second and nine, Manning makes the catch over the middle, brings up third down and six for the Red Raiders. Martin from the shotgun, and he's just gonna throw this one over the head of a receiver. Incomplete, fourth down and six. Texas Tech will punt it away again, and Myers will field it at the 20, and he gets out to the 25. So we're going to see the backups now for Southern Utah here in garbage time. This is Alan Young, the new quarterback for Southern Utah. He's also a redshirt freshman along with Dante Summers, and Brian Rogers is going to make the catch out of the backfield and get down to the Texas Tech 36. Could we hang 50-plus points on Texas Tech? Are you kidding me? If you would have told me two weeks ago against Weber State that we might hang 50 on Texas Tech in two weeks, I would have laughed you all the way to the bank. Second down and eight, less than a minute to go. Rogers left side, and he's going to have the first down with 50 seconds. We'll see what Southern Utah does. Will they punch it in here and get to 55? 19 seconds, and it looks like Southern Utah is going to take a knee. 48 to 14 is a good enough score for me. And we'll do the right thing. Come away with the win. Dante Summers is your player of the game, obviously. He had a fantastic game. Uh, he was explosive at times, and he did a heck of a job just managing the game, taking what the defense gave him. And Southern Utah comes away with a pivotal, uh, probably the biggest win in program history here on our Southern Utah Thunderbirds dynasty. 
A huge win with four games remaining puts us in position to possibly win the West Division and go to the Conference USA Championship for the first time in school history. Final score from Cedar City, the Thunderbirds 48, the Red Raiders 14. And this, this was a huge play here. Broke the backs of Texas Tech. That play action deep shot to Gary Peterson. Safety bid on the play action. Peterson was there. Makes the catch. And Rice loses. And Weber State loses. And North Texas loses. North Texas loses. And that puts Southern Utah all alone in first place in the Conference USA West Division at 3-1. and one. So, guys, we control our own destiny. We win four games to end the season. We will go to the Conference USA Championship. Right now, Middle Tennessee is the leader of the East Division. They are 4-0 and in conference. And the players of the game, Summers, 254 yards passing, three touchdowns through the air. Scott Myers with another pick six. He's got a couple of those this season. Let's look at the game stats. This is a little bit crazy here, guys. 475 yards of total offense. Our offense coming into this game was, I think, ranked number 120 out of 126 teams. And we dropped 475 on a former Big 12 team. They get 272 yards. Uh, third down conversions, they were 2 of 9 for 22%. We were 6 of 11, 54%. They only made it to the red zone once. They came away with a touchdown. And then they had two interceptions thrown. One of them went for six. The other one went for six and then was called back. And we had the one turnover is all. So that, here's a look at our uh, schedule. Four games remaining at Old Dominion, at North Texas, at home against UTSA, and then at Rice. So three of the last four are on the road. That'll test us. We are one and two on the road so far this season. That is season six, game number eight of our Southern Utah Thunderbirds Dynasty here on the Moldy Cheese College Football Network.